It's Connor. This is video number three of four videos on Jim Collins' 12 lessons to take a company and turn it into an enduring great business. Have a good one. On how to turn a new venture or small business into an enduring great company. Here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is share in this video the 12 ideas that uh, Jim shared as what marks those companies that go on to be enduring great companies. Number seven, don't die. Jim says, we only learn from the mistakes that don't kill us. As a person, as a business, don't die. We can only learn if we don't die. I don't think we need to say any more there. What are the risks that have the potential to kill your business and really make sure that you are on top of those risks. Number eight, what he calls clock building, not time telling. And the idea here as a leader is when people come and ask you questions, don't answer the question. If someone comes to you and asks you what time it is and you sh look at your watch and you tell them the, the time, they're learning to come to you every time they have this question. But if someone comes to you and asks you the time and you help them build a clock, you are teaching them to find the answers for themselves. So as a leader, sometimes you know the answer, but the important thing isn't know the answer, it's to help the people around you come up with their own way of answering and their own way of finding the right questions to be asking. Number nine is a balance between preserving the core, stimulating progress, understanding as a leader what are the unchanging core values that must remain in place, the North Star, and what are the areas, what are the mechanisms for changing, for allowing new ideas to come in through the organization? A lot of great organizations begin to wither when you start hearing phrases like, we've tried that before, that wouldn't work around here. This means that the bureaucracy is starting to win. When the bureaucracy starts to set in, you're starting to then begin to rot from the inside out. You've got to allow that there is a core that, that, that remains strong and we're clear on why, but there, there are ways and mechanisms for new ideas and new air to get into the organization.